I am real excited for this one brand wash day. Y'all been requesting it and it's finally here. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, you read the title right. Today we are doing JVN. I am so grateful to them for sending me these products today. They were very sweet and I'm excited to play around with them with you guys. In case you missed it, in this series of one brand wash days, we use all products from one brand on this head of hair. And yes, it is as greasy as it looks right now. I feel like I've been saying this a lot, but I have not been doing a great job of taking care of my hair lately. And honestly, that's kind of the point of these one brand wash days. We are keeping things quick, easy, fast, and simple. We're using a shampoo, a really nice conditioner, and a styler, and that is it. No 12-step curly girl routines over here these days, guys. We are just testing out all products from one brand to see how they perform so that you can have more information as the consumer. And never fear, even if the products aren't like my personal absolute favorite, I will be sharing whose hair I think they would work best for. So even though I am fine, wavy, and medium to high porosity ends and super low porosity roots, I will be sharing who they'll work great for. Also, it's just kind of fun to play around with these products with you guys. Y'all have really been enjoying them, so it seems, in the comments. And feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming One Brand Wash Days we have coming in the future. Also, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you, good old YouTube algorithm. Okay, now that we have all of the business out of the way, let me show you the before hair. I, don't judge me. Don't judge me too bad. You guessed it. This is my product-free air-dried hair. Yeah, you can see why for so long I had no idea my hair was wavy curly, because this is how it air dries also. I haven't washed it in like, mm, four days? And we're that greasy. I know, it's disgusting. All right, let's go fix this with some glorious JVM products. Alrighty guys, we're starting off this wash day as with every other. I am getting my hair nice and soaking wet. While I'm doing that, I do want to mention that this video is not sponsored, even though JVN was kind enough to send me these products. All right, now that my hair is nice and soaking wet, I'm going in with the Embody Daily Volumizing Shampoo. This is made with clean hemi squalane. It's silicone free, sulfate free, color safe, and vegan. Now, the, one of the most interesting ingredients to me in this product is caffeine. Caffeine has beautiful hair stimulant type properties. It'll kind of help hair growth in the sense that it's gonna increase circulation at your scalp. So I find that really cool. Also, you could see that the formula was clear and that it foamed and lathered. I think I may have grabbed too much. On this first clean around, I was amazed at how much it foamed and lathered. I felt like it nearly got all of my four day old hair gunk. Like I was super greasy. And as this is a sulfate free shampoo, I typically shampoo twice with sulfate free shampoos when I am this really greasy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in and shampoo my hair again. Look at how much it foamed and lathered on the second time around. I cracked up a bit when I pulled the lather through the lengths of my hair. That was a lot of suds. Pretty sure I wasted some suds there. All right, now I'm going to thoroughly rinse my hair before grabbing the Embody Daily Volumizing Conditioner. Again, it is made with the Clean Hemi Squalane. It's silicone free, sulfate free, color safe, and vegan. And for a silicone free conditioner, I was absolutely stunned and floored at how well it detangled my hair. It really felt like there was a silicone in this product to help it slip and glide through all my knots and tangles. The fragrance is really light and absolutely beautiful. And this product also contains some biotin, which is lovely. I love seeing some proteins in my products. My hair in particular appreciates protein. 
Now, once I have that thoroughly distributed through my hair with my Perfect Hair Care brush, I am going to grab just a tiny bit of water and add it to like the back and sides of my head so that I can do a nice thorough squish to condition. No, this really doesn't help your hair absorb the conditioner more, but what it does do is really help even distribution of the conditioner to every single one of your hairs. Yes, I finger detangled. Yes, I brushed the conditioner through my hair to distribute it, but this is just an added step of insurance. Also, I suspect that it helps reactivate my curl memory after wearing my hair pulled back in for four days straight. You can see how juicy my curl clumps look here after a really good squish to condition. Now it's time to thoroughly rinse out this product and I'm going to organize my curl clumps again with no product in my hair with my Perfect Hair Care brush, just brushing everything into place, making sure that my curl clumps are going where I want them to. Then I'm going to kind of separate them out with this wide tooth comb and give my hair a quick little scrunch before I grab the star of the show, which is the complete air dry cream. Again, it is made with the clean Hemi Swalane. It's silicone free, sulfate free, color safe, and vegan. I don't know what to think of this product. I was expecting it to have more of a gel texture from everything I had seen and read online, but it really just has a solid hair cream texture, which makes me think that I've messed up by not brushing it through my hair. But as this is a one brand wash day, we're going to keep application technique consistent. I'm gonna glaze this over, use some prayer hands, use some glazing, and a whole lot of scrunching, which is, how I activate my waves and curls. My wavy hair needs all the help it can get with all the scrunching. This product absolutely applied like a dream. I could feel my hair soaking it in and you may have noticed me sniffing it earlier. It has the absolute best fragrance. It reminds me a whole lot of the Matrix Biolage Hydrosource deep conditioner. It's one of my favorite scents in hair care and this product has it. It's absolutely beautiful. Once I have this product thoroughly scrunched into my hair, this is what my hair is looking like. My curl clumps are a tiny bit smaller than I would normally like them, but I think this is actually going to play in my favor. So I'm going to go plop and diffuse and I'll be back to show you the results. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is what my hair is looking like when it's 100% dry. I did plop my hair and diffuse and diffuse it to about the 90% dry mark and let it finish air drying. Now it's 100% dry. I don't know what to think of this air dry cream. It is such an interesting product. Like I'm having a very hard time not running my fingers through my hair because it feels so good. If I run my fingers through my hair, it's going to pull all of my curl clumps out and my hair will look less curly. So I'm going for a curly look today. I, I took the time to plop and diffuse and scrunch it. So I kind of want all the curl definition I can get. Running my fingers through those curls will ruin that definition. So this is what it's looking like in the cast. There's no cast. It's a cream product. This is not supposed to give you crunchy curls. It's not supposed to cast. It did not cast, which is good. I'm going to kind of shake it out though to kind of release everything and we'll take a look at the final wash day results. Does that make sense? Okay. Ooh, I have some really pretty big chunked pieces on this side and just a whole lot of really pretty soft kind of beachy volume. Let me see, how does it feel? I think I grabbed just a little bit too much of the air dry cream as well. Oh, these are cute too. I'm seeing pieces all over that I think are really cute. <laughs> I think I grabbed slightly too much. I can kind of feel the product on my fingers. 
it's possible that brushing it through instead of scrunching it in would be a better application technique for me for this product. I have really good volume. I am so impressed with their packaging. I don't think I talked about that just yet. It's aluminum packaging. The bottles are aluminum. They have a very high-end feel. There's some plastic in the pumps and, and whatnot, but like the tube is metal and the bottles are metal, which I think is kind of nice. It makes the product feel very high-end and luxury. Now that I have fluffed it, let's take a look at the back. Let's turn around and see the final results. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. This is pretty. I, I like it. <laughs> it's very airy and like undone, but yet still done and like polished feeling which is interesting. Like, I don't know how it can be both of those things, but that's what it looks like to me. What do y'all think? Comment down below. The shine is not quite as shiny as I have seen my hair in the past, but there's still plenty of shine in my hair. Looks good, volume's good, and I'm very, very happy with how my scalp is feeling. It was quite angry at me and usually it takes one or two washes before we become friends again after i've neglected it it feels great after that shampoo like really good so if you have a scalp that gets easily inflamed you might consider trying this volumizing shampoo it did the trick all right y'all know the drill i will be back at the end of the day to show you how this wash day is holding up and then back for day two to show you how it held up overnight. And here we are at the end of the day. This hair has been so pretty all day long. I have this one curl right here, super cute. I've told y'all before, it's kind of like one of these delicate curls that gets mad real easy. And it has been so happy today with these products. It has stretched out quite a bit and loosened and elongated. The hold was not a hard hold by any means. I'm gonna call it medium to light hold, but my hair feels so good. It is super touchable, super soft. Let's take a look at the back. And sorry for the super tired face. My rheumatoid arthritis has been acting up, playing up. So by the end of the day, I am completely whooped and it shows in my face. All right, guys, I will see y'all tomorrow morning to show you how it held up overnight. Well, my friends, here we are on the morning of day two and here is an example of failed overnight hair protection. <laughs> <laughs> we are very stretched out. Here's what happened. Ever since I've chopped off my hair, I have been testing out different ways of protecting my hair at night. Normally, I just put it up in a very loose ponytail pineapple type situation on top of my head and just let the bottom pieces, you know, live their life, be wild and free. Yes, pieces fall out of the overnight pineapple. I don't clip them up. That's what I normally do. And that's what you normally see on day two is me having taken that out of my hair, like the ponytail pineapple situation. I just take it out and let it settle and it has always worked for me. However, last night I tried something that's kind of like a mix between a bonnet and what is that thing called? I can't remember right now, but it's like a tube of fabric. It's in between one of those. I tried that. It fell off in the middle of the night and my hair did not hold up well. This is what it's looking like on day two. And that is what it's looking like on day two. And to be honest, I'm not loving this hair enough to where I feel like I can do nothing to it. So here's my game plan. 
I'm gonna use a little bit of the JV in Nourishing Shine Drops on my hair. So I'm only going to take three drops. Ooh, that has that same really amazing fragrance. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my mid links to ends and use this as kind of a protectant while I finger detangle my hair. My hair is still very tangle free, which is quite impressive. My hair is very prone to tangles, especially since getting some highlights. And yeah, for products to give my hair slip, even on day two and basically sleeping with my hair unprotected and being like super tangly, that's pretty awesome. Once I have my hair kind of like finger detangled and I know there's not any crazy massive knots, I'm gonna brush it out. I'm not using brushes anymore to detangle my hair with. Why? Because that creates a lot of mechanical damage and I try and avoid damage as much as I can, anywhere I can. I treat my hair very gently. <laughs> Why? Because then it is healthier and behaves better for the most part. Ooh, okay. This is better. There we go. All right, not a huge change. It's just smoother. Let me show you what it's looking like all brushed out. This is one of the fun parts of having a looser curl pattern. For a very long time, I kind of lamented the fact that my hair was just wavy because I wanted ringlets. However, being wavy has some benefits. If you were having a super stretched out, kind of sad day two hair situation, brushing your hair out is an option for you. Whereas somebody with a tighter curl pattern, maybe or maybe not could get away with this. The hair oil really does allow me to brush out my hair without it becoming absolutely huge. So there you go. That is all I'm gonna do for this refresh. It's not really a refresh because we just added a little bit of oil to the hair and brushed it through, but anyway, I sure hope you found this video helpful. JVN, my overall impressions of this brand are that the formulations are very nice and the products are incredibly high quality. The grit level on the air dry cream is zero. My hair feels so good, so slippery. It is definitely a lighter hold product. I mean, to be fair, I slept with my hair unprotected, so I can't get too mad that it's stretched out quite a bit, but it definitely was light hold. <laughs> I do think if your hair is incredibly kind of like coarse, dry, tangly, and you're having a hard time finding a styler that does not dry out your hair while also providing some hold, this might just be your favorite thing ever. I do think that this would be really awesome as a base, like a leave-in conditioner, curl cream type situation. For me, I would love to use it like that and then put a hard hold gel on top. This actually reminds me a little bit of the Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls without the massive horrible reaction to the fragrance. I like the fragrance of this. My, my nose and my allergies like this one way better than the Miss Jessie's. So there you go. Those are my thoughts. I sure hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I can't wait to see you in the next One Brand Wash Day. Bye.